Namaste. Hello everyone and welcome to another learning bite from Div Learner. Today is day 15 and we are diving into grouping of data in Power BI using Power Query. So um, what are we going to talk about? The objective today would be using group, grouping of data. Grouping help summarizes your data set efficiently, making it easier to analyze large data set with just a few steps so it's a feature uh, which can make your report more insightful and efficient we'll be seeing some demos of that as well um, we'll just go through these steps of it and before we move over to the step what are the business use cases so let's take an example that you are working on a sales report you want to share the information like total sales by region or average performance sales by person you can use group by and easily display those values on your reports so that it can be used by the people who whom it matters for right now uh, tips and best practices so you use advanced for multi-level aggression Always rename output columns to make your report easier to read. So uh, these are the things that you have to do. And we'll be showing you how to do it as well. But if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, like and share it with the people whom it might be helpful for. Now, before we step into the into the arena, what we have to do is the first thing is we have to open up the Power BI desktop. So, in order to open the Power BI desktop, just click on the Power BI desktop. If you have not installed the Power BI desktop, you can install it. It's free of cost. But in this, what I have been doing is I'm following the same file. I'm taking the file which is in video day nine a power bi report that we were using so i have three data sets there which is customer order details and order so before i start the grouping the first thing is i need to go into the power query editor i can go from here from home and then i can click on the transform data that would be taking me to the power bi editor or power query editor or else I can do a right click and then click on edit query and this will take me to the power query editor now um, very quickly I'll take you to the order and you can see in the applied step we have done the merge query I'll be revising that concept in in some more time when I'll be working on one more concept but at the moment what I want to do is I want to come to the last step where I have everything I want to do two things here in this particular demo one is to find the total number of orders that has been made from a country so we have the ship country where it has, the items have been shipped and the second thing is i want to check the total freight which has been put on those countries so what i can do is i i'll create a copy of this order i'll do a right click and duplicate it And then what I can do is once I'm there, I can select the country, ship country, and then click on group by. In the group by, the first thing that I have to do is I have to give it a name. So the first thing is or the column on which I'm trying to do it. And the second thing is the name of the column that I am now creating so what I'll name my column as total orders give me a minute I'll just type it in or better what I'm going to do is I have it written here with me and I will do a copy of it and this is the new column name so i'm going to paste it i just need to do a bit of formatting and i'm saying count number of rows so it will be check counting the number of rows because each row has a different id so uh, 
so what we'll have is the number of orders that has been made for that ship country so if i click on ok right you will see there is a table being formed with the ship country and the total orders from that particular country what i can do is i can sort it descending so you can see us is maximum and the lowest is norway but i wanted one more thing which i've forgotten now right so what i have to do is i have to go back to the group by method and i'll go to the advanced feature and in the advanced feature i'll say add aggregation and this time what i require is i require the total freight so i'll just put it here the name that i require for that particular table oh uh, sorry for that particular column and in this what i require is i require the sum i require the sum of what column of the freight column i'll just click on ok and you will see that there is one more column being added there i can further rename it if i require it right that's one example that i wanted to show but i'll just save this file with a different name so this is day 15 that we are in and i'll click on save so you will see I'll just say apply so the changes that I've done would be applied and the data would be refreshed meanwhile when it is refreshing the data what I wanted to show you is or what I wanted to talk about is that you could have gone into uh, gone into the place where we want to get the data you could have created this complete thing again right you could have connected with the orders and got the data but I did a step ahead of that as in i took everything and i duplicated it whatever i had done so in order to save that time the other thing is um, now what we are trying to do is we are trying to say um, group by product id on the average discount and average quantity that we are talking about so let me just show you in the order details table we have the uh product id right but in this we we do have uh, the quantity and we also have the discount there in that particular table so what i can do is in this particular table what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate it right so i'll just duplicate it and everything is there so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click on group by here i'm saying uh, group by order id uh, i didn't want it to do it by the order id what i can do is i can go to that drop down list and i can select the product id so i want to do it on the product id and i want it to be grouping the discount so let's name our column the new column that we are creating as average discount what i want to do is i want it to find the average what column does it want to find the average is for discount that is when i wanted to do it for only one single column but i require two of the columns there so i'll say add aggregation and in the aggregation i'll write down average quantity right so i'll do a con paste here with that name that i want and again formatted because i've given some extra i again want the average and this average should be based on the quantity yeah and i'll click on ok and you will see another step being added which is called group rows and you can see i have product information average discount and average quantity i can sort them on descending order on the basis of the average discount so i product number 48 is giving the maximum discount so uh, these were the things that i wanted to show in this demo right and you can see that how easy and powerful grouping can be right so just try it and if you have any queries you can put your question and ask it and learn it with divk learner you can submit your doubts i'll share that link with you right
so tomorrow that is the next session day 16 we are we'll explore how to clean up our our data by removing unnecessary columns in power query like the way that we did it in earlier video for rows we'll be working on the column next time so once again uh, thanks for listening to me and thanks for connecting with me if you like the video please like and share it with the people uh, it can be helpful for and subscribe to the channel so th and also press the bell icon so that you can get the latest updates of the videos thanks